TVET colleges encouraged as a viable alternative to universities. Over 700,000 students have enrolled at 50 colleges and the numbers are rising. Students have been here since the earliest hours of this morning, queuing up to try and find funding for the upcoming year. Some of them are still also trying to find placement in the few courses that are left. But with universities full, these students say this TVET college is their only lifeline. I'm applying for Pesari because my parents are not working and that will help me, will help me if I'm not getting this Pesari. Well, because I'm coming for the, from the poor family, so I want to excel and achieve my life and be able to get an, a job. Funding, resources, infrastructure and unqualified lectures, just some of the problems. The issue here is that colleges are over-enrolled and therefore from the allocation that we give from the state, they're not able to cover a lot of their operations fully. So that does affect that does affect the supply of learning and teaching materials. It does affect all other operations. And therefore, we have asked colleges to maintain their enrollment and not to increase it beyond that of last year because there's no additional funding available. <laughs> But students are impatient. Motewo College in Bloemfontein has also been shut down. Students blockaded head office gates, saying no staff member would leave until management responded to their grievances. There are many uh, student-related challenges that informed this. If I can uh, mention a few, the issue of unqualified lecturers, student victimization, uh, poor infrastructure development with no funding model, uh, delay of certificates and, and results, insufficient funding by NSFAS. Students have until the 14th of February to submit NSFAS applications. Lerato Tipa, SABC News.